if there's one running subject that I feel like I'm an expert on, it's how to mess up a marathon. So to save you from making the mistakes that I've made over the past 10 years of running marathons, I'm gonna share some of the, the common mistakes that I've personally made. Let's start with the New York Marathon in 2013. I was running extremely well at this time and the marathon training was just making me stronger and stronger. The problem with that was that the marathon was still 12 weeks off, 10 weeks off, and I wanted to try out these legs today. So I ended up entering uh, some 10Ks, a half marathon, some 5Ks. All these things were distractions because at half marathon, I want to get a, a good time. So I will uh, reduce my training in the days before that. All of it is taken away from my marathon day. Uh, so I think it's a pretty easy mistake to make that. I don't see many people talking about it. You've got to focus on one race. If your focus is the marathon, don't go off and do every race like I did. It's a silly mistake. Second mistake is not training for the course that you're running on. So I've done this a couple of times. I think most notably the Kielde Marathon in the northeast of England. It's a very hilly trail course. Um, and I live in a really flat place. Somehow I didn't put those two things together, so I went off. The first half of the course isn't too bad, uh, but by the second half of the course, it was blatantly obvious to me that I just hadn't done the hill training. So I think it's really important to, to take a look at the course. The Chicago Marathon that I'm doing in the autumn, very flat course, I don't really need to worry about hills. New York Marathon, which I've done several times, is hilly as hell because of the bridges. So make sure that you identify what kind of course it is and train for that kind of course. Next up we have fueling and this is the medal from the 2013 Berlin Marathon. I was running really well at the time, but fueling was letting me down. I think fueling is one of the things that it perhaps takes a few marathons to get used to. It's something that has probably taken me 10 years to get my head around. Uh, in the early days when I ran this, I would try and run a marathon with a pocket full of jelly babies, which, you know, just is not fit for purpose. But it's a common mistake. You look in marathon Facebook groups, you have lots of people who are saying that they don't like uh, the sports gels uh, and that they're looking for alternatives. The truth, I think, is that nobody likes sport gels. No one's going home and thinking, I want to have a sports gel as a snack. You just have to learn to, to live with them. You have to train with them. So if I'm going out on a training run at the minute as I'm training for Chicago, uh, I will take a sports gel every 40 minutes. I'm making sure that my body is used to these, that my body's used to the way that I'm going to fuel my marathon. So when I get to marathon day, uh, there's no surprises. It has all been planned just as much as uh, the uh, pace that I'm going to run, just as much as knowing that I can do the distance. The next one is a funny one. Um, temperature really was the cause of it. So 2019, uh, New York Marathon, it was really hot and uh, live in England. I'm not used to the heat. Uh, a friend said to me on the start line, make sure that you have enough uh, hydration as you're going around the course or you're going to crash. So I took that to the extreme. Every time I passed a water station, I would have a sip. You know, I wasn't drinking a full cup, but there's a lot of water stations on a 26.2 course. Uh, and by the time I got to about 18 miles, I was sloshing around I felt sick. I had some Gatorade, which you know is a drink that I'd never tried before. Silly to, to have that rather than having the water. Um, but I just took on too much. I think it's the kind of thing that it's just a, a silly little mistake where you can get your training perfect and then on the day you just screw up in some tiny way and you know you just have to take it on the chin and think this race wasn't the <laughs> the one that's going to be a PB. Um, but I, I got around the course, got the medal. It was just uh, not an ideal situation. Definitely a way that I screwed up. 
Uh, coming all the way to this year, the uh, Tokyo Marathon 2023, um, foot care is <laughs> the mistake I made with this one. Um, I mean, overall, this was probably one of the best runs I've done, um, but I lost a toenail afterwards. Uh, I hadn't trimmed my toenails in the way that I should have, um, but I, I think perhaps that takes on to a wider subject of other prep. So, you know, you have to make sure that you know where you can rub um, and have plasters on your nipples. Uh, feet are an area that can rub a lot. I've had races before where a toenail has been too sharp and cut the toe next to it, uh, which is quite nasty. Um, but yeah, just forgetting to trim my toenails, such a silly little mistake. Um, I perhaps didn't feel it so much in the race, but afterwards my feet were just <laughs> ruined. Uh, so definitely something which is on my marathon checklist for next time. Make sure that you are a perfectly pedicured <laughs> before the race, so you're gonna get no surprises there. You're not gonna lose a toenail, you're not gonna cut yourself. Um, and just a, a little thing that it's easy to forget about. The next one is the London Marathon 2023. So again, another recent one showing that I'm still screwing up marathons. Um, and this is all about injury. So about six weeks before the marathon, seven weeks before the marathon, I hurt my foot doing park run, uh, was trying to fast time, I'd lace my shoes up too fast, did something to irritate my foot. It just didn't go away. But rather than going to see someone about it and being told that I shouldn't run the marathon, which was what I knew uh, was really the case, uh, or what I, I feared was the case, I just persevered. I did all my training uh, with my foot killing me. I went around the marathon with my foot killing me. Um, and you know what, a few weeks after the marathon, I finally went about the injury they gave me an exercise to do, and within three days, my foot was better. You know, if only I had uh, taken the time when I was first injured to go and see someone about it, rather than putting it off because I wanted this medal. The final one, and probably the most common, I mean, I just spoke about the, the London Marathon and about how I was injured, how my foot was hurting, how I limped around. I still went off in this marathon too fast, it is my classic mistake. I think it's a lot of runners with classic mistakes. I, I remember the New York Marathon um, getting to the finishing line and getting my phone and seeing the messages on Facebook Messenger that my, my running uh, club friends had been putting on as they were following my race and they're like, wow, he started off at an amazing pace and following me all the way to the halfway point saying, he's going to smash this, he's well under three hour pace, incredible run. And then I crashed because I went off too fast and it's a mistake that I've made in so many races. And my go-to mistake, I think that it's something that a lot of runners struggle with. You're on the start line, everyone like races off um, and you don't want to be getting people's way and holding back and you're excited, you want to run fast and before you know it, you look at your watch and you've done the first mile in a pace which is clearly not sustainable, is not the rate that you ever run at. It's something that I will probably struggle with for my entire life. And don't be an idiot like me and really try and hold back at the start, perhaps don't get at the front of a corral, don't get in the corral which is really fast that you don't need to be in. Um, yeah, it's the classic. So that's a, a bunch of mistakes that I've made in my marathons. Uh, have you made mistakes in your marathons uh, or in any other race? It'd be great to, to hear what they are in the comments below. Um, I am running the Chicago Marathon in seven weeks time, uh, so do subscribe to follow my journey. I've had a great week's training this week, uh, 20, ma 20 mile run yesterday, uh, so Chicago is on, uh, and let's do this.